So now we're switching over to lower body flexibility without the foam roller. There's three moves, I'll explain each one and then I'll put them all together for you. So here is move number one on lower body flexibility without the foam roller. We're gonna switch positions. I've got one leg completely extended. I've got my opposite leg pulled in, kind of like the arch of my foot at my knee joint, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach left hand across body. So this is my right leg, left hand across body to heel, okay? That's where we're gonna go with our left hand. Our right hand over the top of the foot. Now what I'd like to add in here is a couple calf flexions, okay? So I wanna just extend my calf a little bit so that I can get some nice warm activity happening inside my Achilles tendon, happening inside my calf all at the same time, elongating the hamstring and relaxing the lumbar. Right hand over the top, I do circles left, I do 15, I do circles right, I do 15, I do uh, extensions on the calf, I do 15. Once I do that, I'm good, and I move on to the next leg. So you just switch sides, same thing right here. Left leg fully extended, right leg, arch at my knee joint, right arm across body to the left side, extending out over the foot again. Extensions of the calf, circles. Now I do 15 left, 15 right, 15 extend. And once I'm there, I feel good. All right, so here we go. Move number two, lower body flexibility without the foam roller. What you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get a rolled up towel, okay? I just take one of those little hand towels, I roll it up. What you're gonna do with this is you're gonna put it under your ankle so you can eliminate a pressure point but also create leverage by elevating your ankle. You'll understand what I'm saying here. This stretch is intended to open up the thigh and the psoas and the oblique, okay? So you're gonna take this foam roll you're going to put it under your ankle. You're going to slide your heel so that your heel and your butt are together. And you're going to lay back. That stretch right there. So your master technique on this stretch is going to be, can you rock back and forth with your knee touching on the floor while extending your arm above your head? That opens up your psoas, your obliques your serratus anterior, half side of your rectus abdominal and transverse, as well as your whole thigh muscle. This stretch right here is awesome for the front of your body, okay? Now, you're just gonna reverse that stretch over to your right leg or whatever opposite leg you started with. Again, roll under the ankle, put the heel on the butt, lay back flat. If the knee can swing around, while touching, and the same side arm is fully extended, that would be your master technique on this stretch. All right, so our final stretch in lower body without the foam roller flexibility is going to be a tough one, okay? This one's gonna stretch out our glutes, you know, medius maximus and minimus, where it's gonna stretch out the inner thigh muscles. This one's a kind of a hard All right, so this is the craziest stretch right here. This is your third stretch in your lower body flexibility without the foam roller. Stretching out our glutes, our lumbar, inner thigh muscles. We're gonna take, I have my right leg. This my right leg is forward. It's at a 90 degree angle and it's parallel to the ground. I'm going to lower my upper body down onto my shin. Ultimately, you wanna be able to put both hands behind your back and your whole chest touch across your shin, just like so. Now I hold this stretch for 30 to 45 seconds, maybe a minute, depending on how tight I am. And then you're just gonna switch sides. Now switch sides. Left leg forward. Again, parallel to the deck at a 90 degree angle. I'm trying to drop my chest down onto my shin, both hands behind my back, chest, and shin touching all the way across, left to right. And I hold that stretch, 30 to 45 seconds, maybe a minute. Ultimately, that's where you wanna get. Now, it may take you some time, 
But remember, this is going to prevent you from ever being injured. The reason that at 45 years old, I can stay so fit is because I never get hurt. I never hurt myself, which means there's no downtime in the gym. I don't have to recover from anything. I can just keep going. And that's the idea. Longevity is all about sustainability. All right, Fit Fam, so that is our flexibility lesson. Lesson number one, upper body, lower body with the foam roller, upper body, lower body without the foam roller. And that's how I'm able to stay so healthy. I'm flexible, I never get injured. And that's what longevity, my number one goal, is all about. What's the maximum level I can sustain indefinitely? And if you never injure yourself because you're flexible, you can go forever. Now, remember, please follow, like, and share. If you're getting something out of this video, I would love for you to share it with other people that you think could get something out of these videos. And stay tuned for the next episode, lesson number two. It's all about conditioning, because the longer you can go, the more you can do.